Hi guys and welcome back. Saya mau kasih review tentang harga-harga di Kanada versus harga di Indonesia. Um, we are in the village ini kampung ibu and this is her backyard. So pretty, ya. Yeah? Uh, ini rumahnya. Mungkin nanti saya mau bikin house tour tapi masih uh, proses ya. The housekeeper was just in. Jadi housekeeper datang ke sini dua kali per bulan. Sekali datang 60 dolar. Tapi ada juga housekeeper yang sekali datang 100 dolar. Tergantung besar atau kecil rumahnya. Di sini pembantu pasti punya mobil. The median income after you pay all your taxes is 28,000 $200 per year. Setengah orang dapat lebih dari itu dan setengah orang dapat kurang dari itu. And the minimum wage here, after taxes, probably you're getting about $9.80. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna check some prices and we're gonna find out how many minutes would you have to work at minimum wage to buy those things in Canada? And how many minutes would you have to work in Indonesia to buy the same type of thing in Indonesia? Karena dugaanku, Canada itu lebih murah daripada Indonesia. Ango was just like, oh my God, you've got like steak in the fridge. This is lamb. And then this one, top sirloin cap grilling steak. Is that sirloin? Is that what yeah, it means? Okay. Yeah. 41,000. Look how big that is. You, you wouldn't get that in Bali for that price. Yeah. Makanya mumpung di Kanada, Sa, udah ini, makan ini aja. Di Kanada nggak ada pajak di atas makanan, jadi harga daging sapi ini 77000 per kilogram. That's our shopping mall. This is the mall? <laughs> this is the mall. This is, this is the mall. <laughs> this is a town with 2,000 people and the entire county is, I don't know, 17,000? Yeah, you said 17,000. Yeah. Ini kaya pangandarannya Kanada. Bedanya, di Kabupaten Pangandaran ada hampir setengah juta orang dan di sini cuma ada 17,000. Padahal hampir dua kali lipat lebih luas. Look at the size oh. of that pet store. Yeah, I know, it's big, it's huge. It's huge. That's how much they love their animals. Yeah. How much did you buy your car for? Your um, midlife crisis car? <laughs> I paid um, $11,762 plus uh, the 15% goods and services tax, 13000 something. It's a 2006. This one, Canada, mobile, jauh lebih murah. Here we are at the gas station, it's $1.26 per liter. This is the downtown area and it's quite busy right now. They have a big grocery store, they have like four car dealerships. But if this was an Indonesian village, there would be no car dealership and um, you'd have to go belanja di pasar. Uh, there's not going to be a big supermarket. No scooter here. Um, they like their Harleys. Ini grocery store. Angga just said the rice is more expensive. Oh, this is eight kilograms. So it's $2.12 per kilogram. And yes, cornet tersayang lebih murah di Indonesia. But how much time will it cost the poor worker to buy it? So five to six dollars for corned beef. The poor Canadian worker can earn three cans an hour. And the poor Indo worker hasn't even earned one. That would be your basic Indomie in a cup, yeah? The kind that you have to cook, 59 cents. Then medek ini, 33 cents. Sebenarnya nggak terlalu beda jauh ya. If you get the right store on the right day, you get Indo prices on the corn. Peaches, so those don't even exist in Bali. Um, berries are still kind of expensive, but it's quite labor intensive to pick these. Nice tea. Basic shampoo, um, only $3 for either shampoo or conditioner. And one liter is about $2.38. Um, cheese for $4.44. Isinya $2.44, $6.49. Looks like salmon's cheaper. $22 a kilogram? Oh my god, wild scallops. Drooling. 
239 for canned tuna. I'm going to say that's about the same as Indonesia. These are really good for kids. Um, Baby Z was eating this. Spaghetti and meatballs, 199. 30 cents an egg. Um, yeah, they have 12 in the egg packs. Oh, yeah. How much is that? Oh, you're not price comparing. Okay, go. You're not helping me. Do my video. And what about delicious and nutritious canned beans? So our canned goods are definitely cheaper. And there is the other grocery store and a Walmart. And it was just like a two minute drive between them, yeah? And Walmart has a grocery. Walmart has groceries too? Yeah. I only found two things that were not only cheaper in Indonesia, but also took less time for a minimum wage worker to earn. Roko dan akomodasi. Mengenai akomodasi, di Indonesia ada banyak pilihan. Tapi karena kita punya musim dingin, mau nggak mau kita harus di bangunan yang lebih layak untuk ditinggali. Jadi itulah review saya tentang harga di Nova Scotia versus harga di uh, Jakarta atau Bali atau apalah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you also to our Patreons. And I will see you next time. Love you so much. Sok subscribe.